Welcome to Nugget 334 with Steve and Dana Groman. We will be reading an article from the March-April 2023 Discover magazine. This article caught my attention. Did it catch yours? It did. You know why? It, it, is, ca- it is pretty cool. I know why it did for you because of where they are. Because of where they are. We have done so much in the wonderful state of Utah. And now I have something else I need to go check out. We have been through Utah's Fish Lake National Forest, but I had no idea this was there. And this we will go awesome. back. If, if it's true the way they present it, it really is awesome. And this is a bird's eye view of this forest. The forest is large, but it's located basically east of Delta, heading south. It's in the pretty much central southwestern quadrant of the state. The article says, Pando, which is Latin for I spread, is shrinking. The famous One Tree Forest is located in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest. Quaking Clone. This is so interesting. Utah's 106-acre quaking aspen grove, known for being one of Earth's largest living organisms, is faltering. Pandos, 40,000-plus trees, are actually all genetically identical shoots from the same root system. But mule deer and cattle have been feeding on its new sprouts faster than the clone can regenerate itself. While fencing erected around several portions of the stand in response to the threat is effectively deterring hungry animals, ecologist Paul Rogers raised new concerns in, in a fall 2022 report. The fencing approach has essentially divided the structure into two into ecological divergent segments, he says. To preserve Pando and the ecosystem it supports, long-term conservation and restoration efforts are needed, including dynamic management of the species that are feasting on Pando's new generations. That is interesting, isn't it? 40,000 trees from one root system? That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. We thought seeing knees in Louisiana was a big deal. Right, and a lot of times we've seen prickly pear cactus that we know they're just reaching and growing and all this, but this is an incredible place, and it is definitely on our Utah list to do. But we did want to take you to two other places quickly today. These aren't clone trees, but they are very unique trees that you can find here in the United States. One of which is in Monahan's Sand Hills State Park. Yeah, that's just out in West Texas. It was totally a surprise when we saw them. Yeah, we were just we didn't know. <laughs> going down the road and it's a brown sign, so we had yeah. to peel off and see what's going on. Hadn't been there, so let's do it. We were the only ones there, I think, that were actually in the building. There were some people that are sledding because it's famous for their sand dunes. But one of the things we didn't know it was famous for are the little Harvard oaks. You can see the little acorn and you can see the <laughs> oak leaf, but it doesn't seem like some mighty majestic oak. <laughs> oh, now, what do you think about? And not what we've been used to seeing. One of the country's largest oak forest stretches across 40,000 acres of arid land in West Texas. The mature Harvard oaks are only three to four feet high. That is amazing. Well, that 40,000 rang a bell with me, but this is 40,000 acres. And in that article, they're talking about that was 40,000 trees. This is a really cool place. So if you're going out anywhere past the Midland Odessa area, do stop in. And one other place that we have been, well, we've been there many times, is Mount Washington in New Hampshire. And what is one of the fabulous features of Mount Washington? Which is the highest place in the east. Yes, in the northeast it is. And uh, we've been there many times and we've done nuggets and all kinds of different videos about Mount Washington. The top of Mount Washington, its summit, is in the Alpine Zone. And we've been there many times over the years with friends and family because when people go to visit New Hampshire, one of the highlights is to go see Mount Washington. And this is what you can find there. Perched on the rocky, windswept summit of Mount Washington in New Hampshire, see crumb holes, which are century-old trees that oftentimes are only two to three feet tall because of the harsh environment. And they are cute, aren't they? They are really cute. (laughs) Isn't that crazy? It's awesome to walk amongst them. Well, it's awesome to be on the top of Mount Washington. The and, and the way they, they grow oftentimes only one direction, one right. angle, they're, one yeah, That's why they're windswept. Because of the wind. Because of the direction of the wind just, yeah, just makes brutal. that puppy lean over. Not lean over, but just grow one direction. Well, Mount Washington's uh, famous for being the world's worst weather place. Yes, it is. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, 
tree nugget. Well, the quaking ones aren't little, but they've got one big but they are unusual. root, don't they? Mm-hmm. And we want to go see those. Our country yes. is filled with fabulous things of God's creation. Oh, there are all kinds of off-the-beaten-path items. And out of the ordinary. And these three trees are worth searching out and going to see. And we're heading to Utah at some point in time, and we're going to stop Let's and find it. these quaking guys. Let's all do right. it. All right. Well, thank you.